What you just saw was the locked on stabilization effect in action. Basically, it keeps a particular subject or part of the shot in one position on the screen and it creates the illusion that the camera is locked on to that subject. You might have seen Daniel Schiffer talk about the locked on stabilization effect when he recreated the effect he saw in a Beats by Dre ad. And until recently, you needed to buy a third party plugin, the FCPX Stabilizer 2.0 from Pixel Film Studios to pull this effect off without any tedious keyframing. But with Final Cut Pro's built-in tracking feature, you can create this locked on stabilization effect in Final Cut Pro without any plugins. Now, I'm not the one who discovered this little hack or trick. It was Cody Wanner who first discovered it. Well, at least that's where I first heard about it. So all credit goes to him for figuring it out. Thanks, Cody. But this trick is too good not to share with you guys in case you missed his video. If you take a look at this drone shot, I'll turn the horizon overlay on and you can see that if I scrub through over here, this car drifts away from the center of the frame and towards the end, it moves quite far away from the center. Now, I want this car to stay in the center of the frame all the time. First, I need to scale the clip up, but also I need to invert the scale. So I'll set the scale to negative 150%. This is important because once we've tracked the clip, the inverted version will allow us to offset that position by the exact same amount. So if this car moves 50 pixels to the right and 100 pixels up in the frame, the inverted clip will move the car 50 pixels to the left and 100 pixels down in the frame to compensate for that movement. That's what keeps the car in the same position. And it's important to shoot in 4K so that you have room to crop or zoom in. And you'll also want to make sure that there's no motion blur in the shot because that makes it harder for Final Cut Pro to track and it'll affect the results. Next, I'll take this clip that we have inverted and I'll alt drag to make a copy. I'll select the first clip and scroll down to the bottom of my inspector window to add a new tracker. Bear in mind, you need to have Final Cut Pro version 10.6 or later to have the built-in tracking feature. I'll create a tracking box around the car and then I'll hit analyze. As you can see here, Final Cut Pro has done a really good job of tracking this car. Now I'll grab this copy of the clip and I'll drop it on top of the first clip. Then I'll open up the transform properties using this dropdown and I'll select the track we just did in the tracker settings and hit done. Next to the transform properties, I'm going to click on this little tracking icon and turn off the rotation tracking. I just want to track the position for this effect. Then I'll set the scale to negative 100% and I'll adjust the position to put this car in the center of the frame. If I scrub through now, you can see how the car sticks to the center of the frame. This is what that looks like. You can create this locked on stabilization effect with pretty much anything that can be accurately tracked with Final Cut Pro's built-in tracker. If you want to learn more about what the built-in tracker is capable of, then you'll want to check out this video where I go over five practical ways to use the built-in tracker.